Welcome everyone, this is Mike from ZozoStockWatch.com and this is your stock watch list and market talk for Thursday the 22nd of February. Let's go ahead and get right into it. Uh, we had some earnings come out after the bell. Uh, the big one, a couple of big ones folks were watching. Uh, Pandora, there was a lot of call activity uh, in Pand Pandora uh, the last couple of weeks. And uh, so Pandora came out, earnings per share miss, revenue beat. Uh, the stock uh, moved up and then uh, sold off uh, on those earnings. So Pandora kind of just uh, you know, holding above the $5 area, which isn't too bad for uh, Pandora. Uh, so I'll have that one on watch tomorrow, Pandora. Uh, another one that came out with uh, earnings was uh, Roku, R-O-K-U. And uh, they had earnings per share revenue beat. But then they lowered their uh, quarter one revenue guidance. And it was straight down for uh, Roku, trading at $40 uh, a share in the after hours on Roku. Wendy's had uh, earnings after the bell, earnings per share, and revenue miss. Uh, so Wendy's trading down a little bit in the after hours. Jack, earnings per share, revenue beat. J-A-C-K, uh, another uh, hamburger joint. Uh, Jack in the box, uh, not really doing too much in the after hours. So Roku down a lot. And uh, Wendy's uh, kind of just uh, mellowing out in the after hours, not really doing too much on Wendy's. Uh, let's see what other uh, earnings we had. Uh, C-A-K Cake. Another uh, restaurant uh, stock, and they had earnings per share in line, revenue beat. They popped it up and kind of just trading uh, in the middle of the range. Uh, car, Avis, uh, rent the car, CAR, uh, had earnings per share revenue, uh, earnings per share beat, revenue miss. Uh, they popped it up and now just kind of trading in the middle of the range on uh, CAR. Let's see what other kind of uh, news came out. Uh, Hertz uh, was moving up also on a car uh, earnings. So that one popped up, kind of just uh, trailing off here. So Hertz and car. Uh, Stamp, earnings per share, earnings per share miss revenue beat, STMP on a stamp uh, so that stock popped got up to about two hundred and fifteen dollars on stamp uh, guiding higher f uh, for year uh, 2018 adjusted earnings per share coming in at a beat for uh, STMP so they popped that one up and then they sold it off so trading at hundred ninety nine dollars uh, in the after hours uh, the API crude numbers came out uh, it was a drawdown, a slight drawdown here. Uh, crude, not really much going on. USO is the ETF for crude, so not too much going on there. Fold uh, Therapeutics announces closing of underwritten offering. So FOLD uh, was selling off, uh, moving down in the after hours on FOLD. And let's see, uh, Weatherford, WFT uh, prices private offering 600 million senior notes, WFT. So that stock uh, moving down in the uh, after hours on WFT. Let's see if there was any others uh, that I wanted to go over. I think that was about it uh, for their earnings uh, standout. Uh, GWPH announces uh, preliminary results of phase two. GWPH uh, stock dropped down uh, in the after hours. So that was one I forgot to mention for its pipeline compound. Study did not meet its primary endpoint. So when you see study did not meet its primary endpoint, uh, then you get the drops like this. So that's GW. PH and um, that is a segment or in uh, the MJ the um, ETF for marijuana so this is probably going to come down tomorrow or is coming down uh, with a GWPH as that is one of the holdings in that uh, MJ uh, ETF for uh, marijuana so that's about it I think for the news after the bell um, let's go ahead and look at the uh, spy but we're gonna look at the spy on a five-minute chart and I'll go ahead and do that right now and then we'll get into the uh, watch list and some stocks but let's look at the uh, spy uh, I have a five-minute chart here so 
You know, SPY uh, opened up strong. This blue line you see right here, this is the uh, 50, equal to the 50 uh, SMA on the daily charts at uh, 272.28. We'll just call it 272 for now. So, um, you know, out of the gate, the bulls came out strong this morning, and uh, they pushed this up over the 50 SMA. And uh, it was kind of like smooth sailing for the bulls. Uh, today, they were holding above VWAP. This is a pre-post market with VWAP on it the uh, white dotted line so we were showing strength and then around uh, two o'clock uh, the FOMC uh, minutes came out and that's you know right about there two o'clock 205 right and uh, we got a beautiful push up right on the FOMC minutes and um, you know it was kind of like yes they're going to raise rates but they're going to do it gradually uh, kind of like a Goldilocks uh, scenario uh, then we got up to this uh, you know we've been having uh, issues with that 275 uh, area on the uh, spy so we couldn't get above that and um, then uh, let me go to the TLT. So this is exactly what happened uh, with the market. So the TLT started moving down. Uh, the dollar started moving up. As you can see, the UUP is the ETF for the dollar. And then, um, you know, TNX. All right. And I'll have to show you this on a daily chart. But uh, then the TNX. And let me show you on the daily um, and bring on my lines here. Okay. So. Uh, you know, we got closer and closer to that 3%. The, uh, at one point, we hit 2.95%. That's the highest since 2014 on the uh, bond yields. So uh, TNX moving up, TLT moving down. And, uh, you know, when interest rates were moving up, let me go back to the five minute on the SPY. That caused this downward action in the SPY. Uh, there was some fear, you know, that the interest rates were headed back up. Uh, the Fed was going to raise rates now, uh, kind of took over. So, you know, I trade the TVIX, right? TVIX is a volatility uh, index, right? And we got a very nice trade in this, but uh, let me talk about how we missed it the first time on the uh, spy so you have to watch the uh, spy kind of in the markets when you trade this so i was watching the spy and this little dippity do faked me out <laughs> right here i was going to you know i was getting along the uh, tvix and then we got this pop up here right and uh, so that gave me like a little bit of a head fake. So I got out of my TVIX because I thought we were breaking down below VWAP. So then I got out of the TVIX, but I stayed on. I kept watching. So now I'm out of my TVIX. Uh, small loss on this trade. Uh, so I'm watching, watching, and we're watching the action here. And I'm saying to the folks in the room, you know, if we continue down, right, this looks like it's failing. Kind of a, a, a small pop here. Can't get us back over VWAP on the SPY. Uh, we may head back down, right? So let's watch the uh, TVIX, and I'll show you where we got the entry. But we broke down here, TVIX, and then we were moving down off to the races. So TVIX, I recalled it, and uh, it was right in this area over $8.30. So right here, okay? right on this candle here and uh into the close uh we got a push up to uh you know nine dollars almost uh, into the close on the tvix but that was all from watching the spy uh took a little small loss the first time on the tvix tivix and uh because of this candle right here i thought we were going to break down then they pushed us back up uh then they broke us down again so i was watching this bull bear buyer seller action here saying to myself well that's not much of a bounce we pulled us back down and then down we went with the spy you know and during that time I was watching the UUP and I'm watching the TLT also and uh, so that kind of led me into you know calling that uh, uh, TIVX uh, trade so we had a very nice trade in the TIVX what I would recommend everybody you know try to try to trade some uh, of these inverse ETFs you know you don't have to trade TIVX but you could trade like TZA all right this is a good one you know going forward if the markets are going to be volatile uh, you know these uh, inverse uh, ETFs are very good to keep on your radar TZA SPXU um, also uh, what's the uh, SQQQ 
All right, now we've been in this big bullish market uh, for a while, so uh, I'm sure we're all out of practice trading these. But, you know, uh, since the market volatility has come back, we've been trading the TZA and the TIVX, uh, the UV, uh, XY, and things like that. So start putting those things uh, on your radar and... Um, you know, uh, this way, it, when as the market is more volatile, uh, you'll have things, instruments to trade. All right, so let's talk about the markets today uh, on the daily chart. We'll just go through the SPY real fast, and then I'll go into the watch list, but a little less in there. All right, so here's the uh, 50 SMA. So as you can see, uh, the bulls could not get us above that uh, 275 spot. That's the number. Uh, and now we have this kind of uh, indecisive uh, candle here, right? We were up here. Now we've pulled back here. Then we came down to the lows. Uh, we are now <clears throat> uh, right on the 5 EMA. So uh, we're going to have to see how the market wants to open uh, tomorrow. And uh, I'll show you the futures right now. Uh, it's about uh, 7.30. Uh, my time. Here's the uh, futures. Uh, not too much damage in the in the uh, futures right now. They were down a little bit lower. Some buyers came in. Right now, the uh, futures are down three. Da uh, Dow futures down about 39. Nasdaq futures down about 22. So, you know, the thing we're going to have to watch for now with the market, right, and this kind of action is now are the uh, generals going to start, you know, breaking down a little bit. You know, I've shown these uh, quarterly charts before. You know, you We've had really tremendous runs in Amazon, uh, NVIDIA, right? Um, uh, I guess, uh, let me check, Apple, huge runs, uh, Google, you know, all these big, huge moves in all these stocks. And I'm not saying they don't deserve it, okay? <laughs> Believe me, you know, they've had great quarters and uh, there's no other place to put your money. But uh, if the market, if interest rates are going to go up and the market's going to change a little bit, you know, there might start to be some chinks in the armor here on some of these, you know, huge moves up. Uh, Facebook and whatnot, uh, and uh, Amazon being the absolute leader, and deservingly so. You know, it is the leader, and it is changing the world and how we shop and everything. But you know, to put fresh money into something like this is a pretty daring thing to do. I think, uh, even into a Nvidia. All right, so there's some of the quarterly charts, and you see what we're kind of dealing with. So. You know, if we look at some of the markets on the quarterly charts, you know, big runs from, you know, the 2008, 2009, all the way up and on. So, uh, you know, we'll see what, what how the market's going to take. But it is definitely changing a little bit, the markets. You know, we went from 2017 uh, running up following this 5 EMA to a lot of, uh, you know, uh, buyers, uh getting, you know, dip buyers are not getting that same um, push up like they were. It's not as easy as it was. Um, you know, here they were rewarded greatly, uh, but now, uh, you know, maybe a little buying fatigue here in the market. So, you know, keep those uh, ETFs, like I said, uh, SQ and TIVX, things like that, UVXY, keep those on your radar for intraday. Um, uh, intraday plays, uh, SPXU, SDS, uh, TZA, things like that. Uh, you might want to become more um, uh, accustomed to trading them during intraday if we're going to get you know some of these wider swings uh, in the market because they can come in handy. All right, so let's go through the uh, watch list. All right, a little lesson there, and I just wanted to show you uh, the Tivix and all that stuff. Let's look at some of the uh, stocks that did hold up. Uh, American Eagle Outfitters uh, on the daily holding up uh, pretty well here, AEO. So uh, looking strong here. So uh, that'll be on watch. AKER. Now, this is a name, a 50 cent name, but it was getting nice volume today. Uh, maybe there's some follow through in that name. ALD. DR uh, showed some good strength today, 1.9 million. Um, so that'll be on watch tomorrow. ANTH, big move up. We traded this one. Uh, I wish to say that we got all the way up to, you know, uh, the highs today, but we did not um, get that much out of it. We got about uh, 10, 15 cents out of this, and then it went back up, uh, continued to move up, uh, but we moved on to other things, and we're okay. We got other trades, but uh, this one was a big mover today. So maybe it'll have, I'll have it on watch again for tomorrow. Uh, 
ARY uh, holding up pretty well, uh, holding above the 5, the 10, uh, basing under this 18 area, 3.2 million. BLMN, nice uh, pop today, 2 million shares. Uh, Blooming Brands, a restaurant, so have that on watch. Maybe CCXI, uh, a smaller name, a little bit light on the volume, but some expanding volume here, basing under $10. Uh, we'll see. Uh, EAT had uh, options activity today, E-A-T-E. Um, so, you know, nice volume, 4 million shares, big pop here, still under the 200 uh, SMA. So we'll see how this sets up uh, intraday. IPXL, a uh, nice uh, daily chart setting up here. 1 million shares came into this name, basing uh, under 21. And also the high today was uh, 2065. So we'll have that on watch depending on, you know, how the market opens up. You know, we might have to just go right into the short side. We did some shorts today also, uh, but, you know, I just showed you the longs I, I can't go into everything on these videos we'll be here for hours uh 1.5 million shares came in on a neo neo uh an eight dollar stock might be one to watch tomorrow orex uh you know trying to get up over the 50 SMA. it's been slammed down maybe turning the corner here 1.6 million still under the you know the big moving averages here uh, we'll see plug had a little bit of a pop today it's never an easy one to trade intraday but just pointing out you know big volume came into a uh, plug uh, the other one sympathy play to plug is uh, Ballard power that got 1.9 million shares but uh, plug got the big volume today uh, PTN uh, you know, basing under this $1 spot on PTN, holding up 2.3 million shares. You know, if this ever gets over $1, uh, 102 area might go. QNST, a big pop today, 1 million shares. Keep your eye on that one. RF, a bank. Uh, holding on to the 5 EMA here. Looks like it may want to turn up. Uh, some of uh, the banks, though, you know, they were, you know, it's got a lot of these topping tails now on the bank. So RF, uh, not a favorite, but uh, we'll see. Uh, RSYS, a big pop. 1.9 million shares trying to get up over the 100 SMA and that $1 spot. The 100 SMA is at a uh, dollar four, so maybe a dollar four and might get a continuation. SN SS, a big pop here uh, today, 1.4 million. Maybe we get some kind of red to green, a pullback. So I'll have that one on watch. TNDM. Uh, starting to turn the corner, uh, the 100 SMA on this is at uh, 310 and uh, you know the 100 SMA right there. So if we get over that 310 spot, 3.1 million shares, TNDM. Uh, Torch got some buying today, expanding volume here on Torch. Uh, still under a lot of moving averages though, so we'll see on that one. Not a favorite. TRXC uh, trying to turn the corner here, 4.0. 4.1 million shares in uh, this name. Uh, so uh, once again, this one also under the uh, you know the 50 and whatnot. But uh, we'll see if there's any kind of play in that. Uh, Twitter actually holding up well, holding the five EMA still under that uh, 34.25. So keep your eye on Twitter holding up. Uh, VKTX uh, holding up, trying to get up over seven bucks a share. Uh, maybe that 703 area, 2.3 million shares. Uh, XPO uh, holding up okay, uh, holding above the 50 SMA. Uh, and you have that uh, 94, 9425, and then the 95 number, XPO, 1.7 million. Uh, the airlines we're getting uh, buying today, American Airlines, LUV, uh, DAL, uh, JetBlue was uh, strong today. Uh, that one has a nice uh, candle, so you might want to keep an eye maybe for some continuation in JetBlue. Uh, SK. SKYW, I didn't look at that one. Uh, probably one of the better, better uh, charts out of the airline, SkyWest, uh, holding up okay. All right, so that's the watch list uh, for tomorrow. Don't want to keep you. We'll see how the uh, markets are going to uh, you know, open tomorrow. Here's a one last look at the futures. As you can see here, uh, S&P futures are heating up to the downside, down uh, six. Uh, Dow futures down 81, and uh, NASDAQ futures down uh, 33. So, 
you know, keep an eye on the uh, ETFs. You can get good intraday trades on them. I don't suggest, you know, holding stuff like Tivix and things like that uh, overnight or UVXY. But, you know, these intraday setups and on these things can give you some good uh, trades. Uh, SQQQ, uh, you know, if the Q's move down, you might get a nice uh, trade in the SQQQ or the TZA. All right, so those are some other things you should have on your watch list. All right, good night, everybody. This is Mike uh, from Zozo Stock Watch. Come check out the service, um, and I think you'll really enjoy it. Have a great night.